The video you're about to see is a recent class I recorded with English language learners at an A2 level. Part of the class requires an inquiry-based approach in that students were asked to interview at least three individuals to get information about uh, what their personal strengths were. The idea was that they were to use this information from these interviews to include those in a paragraph that they're asked to develop for this week. This particular course, in fact, is specifically designed for helping students learn how to develop uh, good, unified, coherent, and cohesive paragraphs. This particular class is 50 minutes long. You'll notice that approximately 35 minutes was spent lecturing and uh, clarifying doubts, explaining what they were to do for, for the day. The rest of the time was spent, uh, each of them working individually on the task. Since students were not having class the next day, you'll notice towards the end of the video that I spent some time discussing a, an outline that they were to complete uh, for, for tomorrow, for the next day. And so it, this class, this recording is really divided into uh, tasks that they were doing that day and then uh, giving them information for what they were to do uh, the following day. The class itself was designed for, to help students go through a brainstorming session and then work out a keyword outline and then transform or convert that keyword outline to a sentence outline. The purpose of this class was to illustrate how writing is a process, is a writing process, again going from the brainstorming session to, uh, to outlines and looking at the different types of outlines and how they can work together in the overall writing process. Also, since this was based on inquiry-based learning, they were uh, encouraged to be curious about themselves when they ask others how others felt about them. So again, they were trying to look at connecting with individuals that were close to them, that knew them well, and ask them what they thought their own personal strengths were. And so part of uh, today's process was to make sure that they could determine whether or not they felt they had enough information in order to do this task. And in most cases, it turns out that students still needed to do some follow-up uh, interviews to get additional information in order to, again, brainstorm properly to, uh, to complete the outlines that they were asked to complete. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions uh, regarding this uh, video, feel free to leave your comments below. Okay, hey guys, so let's go and get started. Good morning, hello, come on in. I'd like to do an activity with you today. And how many of you have completed your interviews? Okay. Or, yes. Well, how many have interviewed at least, I don't know, two, two people, two people? Two? Okay. Today, we need information from those interviews to do today's activity. So the first thing I would ask that you do is to get a clean sheet of paper, maybe turn it horizontally, and divide it into three sections. Okay, so we're going to have three sections here. One section, you're going to put the first person's name and your relationship with that person. Maybe that person is a friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, mother, brother, cousin, whatever. And label each of the three columns with the name and the relationship of the person. So I'll give you a second here. Go ahead and uh, find a, get a clean sheet of paper. You do not have to turn this in, so you don't have to remove it from your paper. I think it's easier if you turn it like this, just so you have more space, and divide it into three sections. And like this, because it's a little bit narrow. So if you do it like this, you get a little more space. So clean sheet of paper, three columns. Please put the person's name that you interviewed. Question, how many of you recorded your interviews with your phone? or some device, you recorded either video or audio, oh. or at least some. Uh, 
hopefully all, but some at least. I have just two. Just two. Okay. All right. So first of all, the reason what we're doing today is an activity to help better determine if you feel you have enough information or if you feel you're missing information. Now, you might still, you might know right now that you're saying, oh, but I want to be very specific. We're going to do an activity today so that you know if you need more interviews after today, that today you need to do those interviews. Okay, so um, if you have to do more interviews, please record. It's much easier. This, um, this is just a tip for you. This makes it easier for you to do this activity if you record that information. So you can go back and listen because we need details. Necesitamos los detalles, los detalles de lo que están diciendo. It's not going to be enough to say, my best friend tells me I'm responsible. We need more information. When am I responsible? How am I responsible? Maybe why? Now, this is their perspective. This is not about you, your perspective. Okay, right now, this is about what others feel are your strengths. How do they ex express your strengths? Okay, so, first, piece of paper, three columns. Make sure you have the name and the relationship. Identify the relationship, a friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, mom, father. And I would like you to list Key words, key aspects about of your strengths. Remember, this is all about your personal strengths. So create a list for each of these three. Now, how many of you have more than three? Uh, how many of you interviewed more than three people? Okay. So, Lucy, in your case, I'd like for you to... How many? Four. Four. Choose... The three that you think gave you the most interesting or surprising information. Okay, I'll let you decide, but try to choose only three uh, for, for this purpose. Okay. So I'll give you a few minutes here in class. Create a list. Now, if you only have two, then just use two for now. But in your piece of paper, you need to have at least three. Okay, so you know later today that you need an interview with this person to get that information that you're still missing. So if I now again, Triple. for example, would be what will be the, the strength, uh, the keywords about the strength. Correct. E, and the keywords, think about the question words. What? What is the strength? Why do you think you have the strength? How? Is that strength, uh, how does it happen? How does it, what does it look like? How does it happen? When, what is it? When is that strength? When are you responsible? When are you trustworthy? Um, Etc. With whom? Es el detalle lo que vamos a necesitar. Obviamente no todo, pero algunas de esas palabras Podemos ver, okay, okay, what kind of details can I talk about here, 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 what, how, why? Okay, any other questions? Son palabras, nada más keywords. No vamos a hacer nada de frases, just keywords. Yes. How would you say buena onda in English? Cool. Since you told me that, you are meant buena onda. Cool. Right, so what, you could say cool. Okay. You could say awesome, you're awesome. Okay. What is it? Could be, uh, what else? Easy going. Now this is... Easy going means you're easy to talk to, you can, you're open, easy going. Um, what else? Cool is really slang though, right? You're not bad at the way.
Okay, guys, once you have as many keywords as you can come up with, I want you to ask yourself, do you have enough information? Maybe at this point, you may say, you know what, I still need more information from my cousin Bob over here. I need more information about my strengths in this column. If you think you still need more information, make sure you get those interviews, preferably today, later today. Go back to Cousin Bob and record further interviews so that you get that, those details. What kind of questions? Questions that relate to these different question words about the strengths. Somebody might say, let's say your mom tells you you're trustworthy, but she just says you're trustworthy. And you think, well, I still need more information from my mom. Today I'm going to go back to my mom and I'm going to ask her, well, when? When am I trustworthy? Can you give me an example? Like, can you tell me a, a, a time when I was trustworthy, an experience, to get that information? Try to record all of your interviews. For now, for today, I want you to take whatever you have up here on your sheet. I'd like for you to go into Google Classroom. We have an assignment for, for this week, for this paragraph. I'd like for you to open up the document. It's a Google Doc. And I want you to create an outline okay, in, in, this, in this document. This outline is going to come from this information. So for example, you're going to have three names in your outline. These are called bullet points. So you're going to use bullet points in your outline. You can use the bullet points in Google. You can decide which bullet points you want. But you're going to have three names. These names are going to come directly from your sheet. And then underneath, you'll have another bullet that lists the details. These details are coming from these details. Again, we're only going to create a keyword outline. These are just keywords or phrases, very short. Okay, so no, no long sentences or any, any sentences at all, just, just keywords. But now I want to convert this brainstorming to an outline. Do not worry about organization. Do not worry about which comes first. Don't worry about which detail comes first. Don't worry about organization. Just get as many details as possible in your outline and in your brainstorming lists. Okay, so let's start the second uh, stage. Try to get online in Google Classroom. Uh, if you have problems connecting to Google Classroom, Create the outline on your notebook, but please today upload to Google so that I can see tomorrow how, how you're advancing. Okay, so let's do the second step. Second step, convert a brainstorming list now to our outline, preferably if you're connected in Google Classroom. representing it here in this step. Now, once you have this, our final step for today is to convert this keyword outline into what's called a sentence outline. Now, the sentence outline is going to be very similar in that we're going to start with our names, just like what we have here. But now we're going to create sentences based on these details. This is why as many details as possible that you have, the better. The more details, the better. Because here, you can take these details and create sentences 
under each of these names. Complete sentences, a subject and a verb. They can be simple sentence, sentences, complex sentences, compound sentences, doesn't matter. But create complete sentences and you can merge some of these two details. Maybe you have these two, de two details in one sentence, that's okay. Maybe you have just one detail and you talk more specifically about that, that one detail. How can you talk more specifically? Answer questions like what, how, why, when, where. Anytime you're asking yourself, well, what can I say about responsibility? My best friend told me that I'm responsible. Okay, well, how are you responsible? With whom are you responsible? Why do they think you're responsible? That would be an interesting question to ask your best friend. Why do you think I'm responsible? You want, I want you to be curious about this. I want you to ask questions like, maybe you never thought about asking these people, these people that are special in your lives, about these aspects about yourself, these characteristics. So be curious. Try to get the details, because the more details, the better paragraph you're going to have. If you're talking super general about, about your strengths, it's not going to be as good as getting those special details that you can uh, that you can ask in your interviews. All right. So the third step is to convert this outline and the same document in your Google Classroom. Right? Just convert this to this, but don't jump to this. If you try to jump to this without not having all of the details or not having the interviews to get the details, okay. Uh, it's going to be more difficult, and you're not going to have the best results. Okay, so if you're still missing something here, that's fine. But this is the, the, the process that I want you to follow. Brainstorm, create an outline with your keywords. Once you have all of these, go to your outline. If you still need interviews, fine. Try to get those interviews today. Okay, because tomorrow, let me give you the bad news. You want the bad news? Are you ready? You got some bad news. I have a meeting tomorrow, so we're not going to have class tomorrow. So I know you're, you're really upset about that. I'm sorry to break the news to you. Um, but I want to give you enough to do today and tomorrow. I'm going to talk a little bit here in a few minutes about what you can do tomorrow. But this, today, hopefully you can try, or first thing tomorrow, you can try to complete these three steps. And uh, I'll... I'll talk to you in a few minutes about what, what we can do after, after this. Okay? So does this make sense? Any questions about these three steps? Yes. Yes, in, in the Google document. Each one of you has a Google document. And it's there's a brainstorming section. So in that section where you have the outline, I think I even started the outline. So you can create your outline first with keywords, and then you can replace it. You can replace it. You don't have to create two outlines. You can just replace this uh, with your sentence outline. But again, don't jump to this because it'll be more difficult. If you don't have enough details, try to get as many details as possible. So if there's anything else about responsibility, you know, determine or commit. You can even, for example, underneath responsibility. So here, let's say you have a detail, you can even have, and then you can say why, or when. So, so responsibility? Okay, when am I responsible? Why do you think I'm responsible? You, what is this is a good point, guys, to make. And and the caso de Lucy, Lucy tiene una. She has a detail here that is what is it like responsible? All right, so responsible. So she can add responsible here, but she might say. She might say, well, I need more information, so tonight I'm going to ask my mom about how I'm, maybe how or when am I responsible. 
So she tells Lucy, right, okay, this is when you're responsible. So she can add to her outline below responsible or responsibility, she can add a detail about when she's responsible. She can add a detail about why she's responsible. Right? And you, so you can keep the outline going deeper and deeper as you need to. Right? Because only the being responsible probably is not enough good information to, that she can choose to talk about later in her paragraph. So, so just follow the same scheme. You've got a bullet point for the name. You've got a bullet point for the characteristic or the adjective or the noun. And then you've got another bullet point for the detail, the example of that characteristic. See? If you do this well, you do this well, this is a lot easier. This is actually more difficult if we don't do all of this. And this is more difficult if we don't have this. And this is difficult if we don't do the interviews. And if we don't record the interviews, it's even diff more difficult still. So, record, brainstorm, outline. So each of the details that you have, like S D, this is gonna go here. And then if you can provide more detail from what you have there. So if you have audio recordings, if they said anything, or if you need uh, to interview today to get more specific information. For example, you might say that. Uh, okay, Mom, um, uh, when did I most choose? Why do you think I'm choosing? With him, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like So you can ask more questions. And you can find out what you want about certain aspects of these that you can include in your outline. Does that make sense? Be curious, guys. Be curious about your interviews. Try to get information that you didn't know, that you, you didn't expect. Uh, when brainstorm technically be kind of this, this, I mean, yeah, and kind of we're still brainstorming even with the outline. So, yeah. Okay, so, all right, let me go ahead and explain, guys, tomorrow. Ahorita voy a explicar lo que, porque no vamos a tener clase mañana. Eh, de hecho, también estoy grabando y voy a compartir este con ustedes para igual pueden revisar después con calma todo lo que vamos a hacer hoy y también mañana. La idea con este es asegurar que tenemos los detalles, lo que necesitamos para hacer lo que vamos a hacer mañana, que vamos a hacer mañana. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to create another outline specifically for our paragraph. Right now, this is just to get ideas that we're going to include, but we haven't talked about organization. Tomorrow, I want you to think about organization. Okay, now, it doesn't help to think about organization right now if we don't have enough information. So lo que voy a explicar ahorita de organización es más bien mañana cuando tengas toda la información, todo este, de primer paso, primer, segundo, tercer paso, todo este, ya hecho. Mañana vamos a pensar en, en la organización. Vamos a hacer otro esquema. Esquema, ah, uh -huh. okay. We're going to do another one, but specifically for organization. What comes first? What comes second? What comes third? You basically have two options, I see. Two options of organizing your paragraph. What do you think one way is? What's one way that you can organize your paragraph for this assignment? Any ideas?
looking at all this information here, what's one way that we can organize our paragraph? First you talk about your mom, then you talk about your dad, then you talk about your cousin. That's one way that you can organize your paragraphs. What's another way? Talk about your strengths. By strength. So let's say, mom said I'm trustworthy, my dad said I'm trustworthy, and my cousin says I'm trustworthy. Wow, they all said I'm trustworthy. Different examples, different details, but they said I'm trustworthy. So guess what? I may start with trustworthy. You decide. You're going to look at all these details and say, ah, okay, everybody say I'm trustworthy. So I'm going to, I should, that'll be one thing. That'll be one section, one idea. Choose, I don't know, two, three, four, probably no more than four characteristics that maybe they're, they're in common or maybe not. That doesn't matter. But the ones that are most surprising, that are most interesting to you, that you didn't think, that you didn't expect from your conversations with these people, something that's interesting, that is going to make a better paragraph. Not something that you already knew about yourself, but hopefully something that you didn't know about yourself based on this, this information. So, in your outline, okay, you're going to have, you're going to have here, where can I put this? I'll put this here, I guess. Um, the first sentence of every paragraph. You guys are so smart. <laughs> Topic sentence. So, here is your outline for tomorrow. Not today, but tomorrow. Here's your outline for tomorrow. Tomorrow. Not today. Tomorrow. Here's your topic sentence. Sentence. Guess what? These are details. Sentence one, sentence two, sentence three. And this, I want. I want you to be able to identify this as, am I going to organize by name or characteristic? Am I going to organize by name or characteristic? I want you just to label it, to say, I want you to tell me. These sentences, I'm choosing name. Because I'm going to talk about my mom first, then I'm going to talk about my dad, then I'm going to talk about my cousin. Mom couple sentences, dad, one, two sentences, and my cousin. Or, no, I'm going to talk about characteristics. I'm going to, first, this, I'm going to talk about characteristics like trustworthiness, responsibility, and honesty. But this will be the organization here. And again, these are just sentences. It doesn't matter if it's a simple sentence, compound sentence right now. This is just to get your ideas. These sentences are coming from these details, all these details, right? If we just have responsibility, we don't have anything else to say. How, how are we gonna, what are we gonna say about responsibility? Necesitamos más información. Necesitamos los detalles. Right, I mean, think about the details as much as possible. Because if your mom says, oh, you're so responsible, Okay, well, thanks, Mom, but can you give me an example? Can you, uh, when am I most responsible? Right? Or, or with whom? Am I more responsible with my brother than my sister? Okay, that kind of thing. Whatever, whatever. But ask, be curious. I want you to be curious about yourself. You know, we all think we know ourselves. But I want you to ask these people, the special people in your lives, these questions. Be curious. Right? This is all about your strengths. We're not asking about weaknesses. Right? So this should be all positive. This should be things that should make you feel good about yourself. But ask questions that maybe you didn't know about yourself. But please do this first. Step one, two, and three today. This has to come first. Tomorrow, this is going to be our focus. Trying to organize now. 
I don't care about the organization here. It doesn't matter what comes first, who comes first. It doesn't matter who comes first here or here. It doesn't matter what, you, what comes first in the details. Tomorrow, when you've done this and you had all your interviews, now we're ready for the organization. What's going to come first? And I want to see here your outline. Once you've done this, now you have the basis for writing your paragraph. So on Friday, let's project to Friday. This is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see this outline in your Google Doc. Below this outline, I would like to see this outline, the organization. And then below this, I would like to see your paragraph. Because I want to see how you developed your paragraph from this. I want to see how you developed this from this. And I won't really be able to see this to this, but I'm trying to stress the importance today, how you need to have your interviews and get all of this together first before you do this. Do not jump to this. Si brincamos a este, o la silla ahorita, si no tenemos toda la información, va a afectar mucho, obviamente, en la parte. It won't be as good. And I'm really curious. I want to read your, your paragraphs because I want to know I want to know these things. I want to see what you have found about yourself. I'm curious too. So I want you to be curious about this. Okay? I know this is a lot of information, but this is because we're not going to have class tomorrow. All right, so the first thing, probably most of us still need to have a few more interviews. So go ahead and have those interviews. Try to get it today. If, you, if tomorrow you still don't have your interviews, we can't do much. You're going to be stuck, right? So really try to get those interviews uh, so that tomorrow you can at least try to finish this and start thinking about this and then begin writing. On Friday, I'm going to give you all day on Friday in class to talk about any of this. And I'm also going to give you time in class to do your written journal. We still have our weekly journal. Dudas, preguntas, respuestas. I think that's enough for today, guys. Uh, so no class tomorrow. We'll I'll see you guys on Friday, and we'll continue with with your paragraph for this week. Okay.